You want to hear content about the Philadelphia Eagles and the Philadelphia 76ers? That's straight to the point. No nonsense. No over-the-top shenanigans. So we got to say and keep it moving. Then you made the right choice coming to Nikki Steve's channel. So stay tuned. All right. So before I get started with the main subject of this video, I'd like to give a brief shout out slash suggestion to Philly Talk with MK. His YouTube channel is Mitch Kofsky. I apologize if I butchered the last name. But he talks Philly sports. He talks the Eagles, the Sixers, Phillies, Flyers. So give his channel a check out. If you like his videos, subscribe to his channel. So I know I wanted to give a brief shout out to Mitch Kofsky. So about an hour ago, or an hour and a half ago, I was watching a video with Philly 500 featuring Joey Shakes where they talked about different subjects. One of the main subjects in there was they included what the Eagles were going to do with the number six pick. And Philly 500 in this video specifically stated that he thinks the Eagles might try to go for a quarterback. And it was discussed for a bit in that video, in that live stream, that the Eagles might go for a quarterback at number six. And while I was watching it, it gave me the idea to do this video. Now, so I'm going to come up here and give my thoughts. You can tell by the title where I stand on this one. That no, the Philadelphia Eagles should not draft the quarterback at number six. No, and the re and let's get into why. Because last year you had the situation with Carlin, Carson, Carson Wentz, and Jalen Hurts. So Carson's now traded. You still got Jalen Hurts on the roster, and in those last four, Jalen only started four games. So that's not enough to determine whether a guy's going to succeed or fail going forward. But in those four games, he showed that he has some potential. Again, four games isn't enough to tell you what the guy's going to do long-term. We show you some potential. And he says he's willing to fight for his spot. I mean, is it possible he could still have some competition? Yes. But you're in a situation with the number six pick with the Eagles where you need help all across the roster. And again, Jalen Hurts is a guy who has potential to succeed at this level, especially in a time period where the mobile athletic quarterback is becoming more of a must-have and more of an asset in as the NFL goes along. Now you got the other guys like the Kyler Murrays, Lamar Jacksons. It's becoming more of an asset. So you definitely want to go with the guy who fits that style. At least see what you got with him before you decide to move on or stay with him. So I'd say, really, you should go with this 2021 season. Should be dedicated to seeing if Jalen Hurts is going to be your guy going forward. And if it doesn't work out, okay, say Jalen Hurts flops this year, you come back in next year's draft in 2022, you get an early draft pick, then you can get a quarterback then. So out of all the guys this year that are quarterbacks, let, I'd say and when you're in the situation the Eagles are in, where you got a guy that could is going to a second season, he could be your guy, the only time you draft a quarterback in that situation – if there is a must-have prospect on the board, the only must-draft prospect in this year's draft out of all the quarterbacks is Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. And we all know that by the number six pick, Trevor Lawrence will not be on the board for the Eagles to take. We all know Trevor Lawrence is going to the Jaguars. So considering the only guy that's a must-have quarterback prospect, we know he's going number one. By the time you get to number six, why draft a quarterback when you have a guy – and Jalen Hurts, you want to, You haven't see, really seen what you have with him yet. I think the number six pick, you can either go get Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, or in the unlikely scenario, both are taken, which probably isn't going to happen. But a third option is Patrick Sertain, the second. A safety. Those are your three options. I think you got to take the number six pick. Either Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, or Patrick Sertain, the second. You should not be going for a quarterback, especially in the first round. You have plenty of other holes you need to address on the roster. And you got a quarterback. You haven't seen if he's the guy yet. You don't want to go and get a quarterback and create yet another quarterback controversy. Because on top of the fact that we have so many flaws on this team in terms of, or so many holes on this team, I should say, with everything, with receivers, offensive line, the defense, there's so many holes on this team. In so many other areas you need to address, you should address those areas. Why do you want to draft another quarterback when you know quarterback controversy has been one of the biggest problems for your team since Carson Wentz got injured in 2017? The only time you didn't have a QB controversy was that 2019 season. But other than that, 
ever since Carson regressed in 2020, all of a sudden you had a QB controversy again. So you pre- so you've had a QB controversy ever since Carson's first major injury, minus one season. And you really want the situ- QB controversy thing to continue? I understand wanting to have competition at certain positions. You want to have competition at the offensive line. You want to draft some guys somewhere in the draft, somewhere in the draft on the offensive line to bring in some competition there. I understand. You want to draft some guys in the defense to have competition to motivate the players somewhere in the draft. I understand that. You want to have some competition with the wide receivers. I understand that. I understand wanting to give Jalen Hurts competition to prove himself. I understand that. But do you really, with the number six pick, want to take a quarterback? God forbid, worst case scenario, you do draft a quarterback. Do it in the later rounds. Come and draft a quarterback in the later rounds, but don't do that in the first round or the second round or the third round. If, God forbid, you're going to draft a quarterback, do that later in the draft. Even though I don't agree with the idea of necessarily, I don't think quarterbacks then something you need to draft at all, period. But I can understand if you draft a quarterback later. I get that. As far as what I do think they should do, I'll definitely do a mock draft where I talk about that more exclusively. But I don't want to get too off base with the subject here. And the subject here is what the Eagles should be doing in the first round. They should not be drafting a quarterback and giving the idea that they may not be sold on Jalen Hurts when he never really gave the guy an opportunity to see what he had. You got to see what you have in Jalen Hurts. You got to have a quarterback, if you're the Eagles, that you clearly say, you want this guy to be the guy. And again, if it doesn't work with Jalen Hurts, if he stinks up the joint, you get another early pick next year, and then you draft your guy going, who you think is going to be the guy going forward. But that's a worst case scenario. First, you got to see what you have with Jalen Hurts. And maybe, just maybe, maybe it works out. Maybe he is an asset, similar to a Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray ish type quarterback. Maybe he is, but you don't know that yet. And I think I said the best thing you want to do is you want to build a team around Jalen Hurts and you want to start by getting a wide receiver in the first round. You get either Jamar Chase or Devontae Smith. Get that wide receiver you feel is going to be your star wide receiver going forward for years to come, possibly 10 or more years. Use that as a guy to build around the to put in the team with Jalen Hurts. Get an offensive tackle somewhere in the draft. You know, work with your younger wide receivers. See what you got with them. Also invest on the defensive side of the ball in the draft. Build a good team all around, particularly in the offensive side of the ball. See what you got with Jalen Hurts. But don't try to draft another quarterback and give the indication you're not sold on the guy. That's the last thing they want to do. But yeah, we'll definitely talk more about the draft as it gets closer to the draft. First, I want to wait to see what the Eagles do in free agency. Then I'm going to talk more in depth about the draft and give a video specifically dedicated to the draft once free agency happens. But I said everything I was going to say with this. The bottom line is, if you're the Philadelphia Eagles, do not, whatever you do, do not draft a quarterback with the number six pick and do not allow another quarterback controversy to surface in 2021. So bottom line, that's all I got to say. So those of you who watched this video, thank you for watching. Give this video a like, support the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know, what do you think the Eagles should do with the number six pick? What do you think about the Eagles should do or what do you think they're going to do with the number six pick? Let me know in the comment section. Most of all, have a wonderful day. Nikki Stee signing off. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. You like that straight to the point mentality? No nonsense, no shenanigans. Hit that subscribe button because that's what we do on this channel. Every video, straight to the point, no shenanigans, no nonsense. If that's what you want, then you better hit that subscribe button.